Hello everybody, this is Mad Marshman, and sorry to leave you with that horrendous cliffhanger last episode, but we had been recording for an hour and 25 minutes, and I wanted to keep these episodes to about an hour, but that's not happening, because nothing happens quickly in Dwarf Fortress, but we don't mind, because we're chilling out with it. And here we have, which is where we left off, the where Iguana Lon Kopu Hussush has come, a large Iguana twisted into humanoid form. It is crazed for blood and flesh, its eyes glow blue, its brown scales are oval shaped and closed set. Now you will know why you fear the night. So I had been thinking about this and I thought, yep, they normally come in on the edge of the map, so we'll raise the draw, but we'll get everyone inside, I'll show you how to make a burrow. Everyone will run to the burrow, we'll shut the drawbridge, we'll put the military in the corridor as a guard just in case, and he'll run through the traps and we'll catch him. Now normally I'd go and meet him head on with the military, but someone will get bitten or scratched and then they'll turn into a wary iguana. And it'll be hilarious, but I didn't want to end this fort quickly, so I thought we'll do it the safe way. Then, let's just hit enter, to get rid of this message. Then, I had a horrible thought. I ran on and explained in great detail how to make this bridge rise in the correct direction. But I didn't push any of the buttons to choose which direction to raise it in. <laughs> so it will just retract, which means it will disappear, so that this bridge will technically do nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And I went back and watched episode 2 to see if that's what I'd done, and I did. I made a, a, a total error. So, right. So we've not got the raise the bridge option. So we've got to hit units. We're going to go to other to see... There he is at the top, Lon Copper Hoss, and he's Berserk. So Z at the bottom, it says go to unit. He's under the yellow cross, he's there. Where's that? All oh, right, he's pretty close, he's pretty close to us. They normally come in right on the edge of the map when you get the warning. He may have just come off one of these down ramps. I don't think we'd even have time to shut the bridge. Now, um, you know, we can't shut the bridge, we've established that, but I don't think we would have had time anyway. So I think what we're going to do, we are going to meet him head on with our military. Because the few of them are outside training. So if we push S for squad, I to select the copper parity, which is quite ironic because most of their weapons are copper, that's all we could afford. K attack. And then we can do L to select a creature from the list. And we want... Oh, is that going to go for A, which is the outpost of liaison? It's G. The Were Iguana. And then we're going to have to watch the the um, battle reports carefully, because if someone gets scratched or bitten, we're going to have to deal with that. Right, let's unpause the game. We've got to get out of this. Right, they're on attack orders. happened? Have they gone after it? Right, what actually happened? Oh, he's still there, I can see. One of them's fighting him near the stockpile. Who's that? Well, that's a dead person. That's a corpse. Right, what's going on? Why is no one else fighting him? They're just going out and collecting his stuff. What is going on with my squad? Squad. They are active. I. Attack. Is this Iguana still in the crazed Iguana or has he changed back? Because they will change back to their normal form. Um, you, others, oh, he must be dead, he's not shown, so what have we got as dead or missing, the um, 
Iguana, but we've lost two people. We lost a wrestler and a miner during the battle. Right. Push R. The bookkeeper is fighting. The bookkeeper strikes the wearer Iguana in the neck. Severed part sails off in an arc. Tun Katan Mamgod's bookkeeper death. I am not upset by this. Good boy. The where Iguana bites the bookkeeper in the right thigh. Oh dear. So Tun, he is possibly a wary Iguana now, if he's still alive, which I think he is. Right. Lon, he died, didn't he? Where strikes the miner around the head, tearing apart the head's muscle and artery in the head has been opened up by the attack. The tendon in the skull has been torn. Yeah, he's he's been messed right up, he has. He has been messed right up. Lon, I think Lon is dead. Right, I'm just writing things down here because I need to know. He's Doosome, he's dead. I saw he was dead. Methus. Right, what's happened to him? Methus wrestler has been found dead. All oh, right, Methus is dead. Lon is dead. That's good in a way because that means they're not going to turn the glazer. I'm hoping he's just hunting. Yeah, he's fighting kangaroos. Right, so we have two units. We have Tun, who's our bookkeeper. That's a shame. I wouldn't have thought he was even in the military, but he clearly is. So is he the only one who we think is aware, could be aware of Iguana? Because Lon, Lon died, didn't he? We've got two tons, a trapper and a bookkeeper. Right, let's better just check the report again, but I've got a horrible feeling that was our bookkeeper. Yeah, the bookkeeper. We don't really want to lose him, but there you go. Right, so we now have to do something about this. Um, the wary guana is dead. We'll just check that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Yeah, he's mutilated corpse. Right, bugger. Okay, squad A. They're back to active train and they've set reset their orders because because they um they finished their job. Right, so we need to do something here. We need to build something. Hmm. We're going to need a hospital, and we also need an atom smasher. All right, we're going to cancel some designations here. So we're going to go designate X, cancel that. That'll stop them digging through there. Cancel that. Stop them digging through there. I don't think them other staircases are hooked up. They are. So we're going to have to remove these. This is some fancy guitar player, and that's great. Right. I believe our well is here. It is. Um, I don't like building everything on the floor with the with the bedrooms, but we're going to because this this fort now could possibly <laughs> be into a death spiral any minute, which could be fun. Right, D D. Have a five by five room there. And we're going to have a hospital here, I think. We 
we might break through to the well room for the hospital because they come in handy. Right, and then we're going to have a room here. Right, our miners can do that. And hopefully in the time that they're doing that, our bookkeeper doesn't turn into a wary guana. Um, you want to deconstruct a building, so you want to designate N, remove construction. We're going to have to build this again to build it properly. No. No, that didn't work. Um, bridge? No. Build. Bridge? Do we remove a bridge for that? No. Designate? What if I just query it with a Q? Ah, remove building. Right, they're going to remove that now, so we've actually got to remove it and replace it to change the direction that works in, which is a pain in the bum. But there you go. I, I thought about it, I thought, yeah, I was banging on telling everyone what direction the bridge has to rise in, and then I completely forgot. We, we I don't know if we'd have pulled the lever if that had happened in time, but it doesn't happen instantly anyway. There is a slight delay from when you do these things. All right, they're all running around. Dig. Only one of them is digging. Is he doing what I want? No, because they'll be digging all that stuff downstairs, won't they? I'm going to have to... Well, they've nearly done that, to be fair. But let's remove the designation D. I really need them doing what I'm doing now because this is our only chance of survival because Tun will turn. <laughs> he will turn into a wear iguana. And then that's all going to go tits up. Which I didn't really want it to do in a tutorial for. It doesn't matter because we'll start a new fort and that's that is all the fun of door fortress I said there is no win condition so that the fun is in the way you lose I thought we were going to lose from um insanity because they're going to run out of alcohol and start fighting each other which is definitely a thing but this is not the case I think we could die to wear iguanaism unless we contain it I'm just removing all these digging designations so I want to get them on the job. Right. Please dig where I want you to dig. And get them corpses. Oh yeah, we've got our um, job manager. Can we have... Construct rock coffins. We'll have five of them, please. We need to bury the dead. Otherwise, they will actually haunt us, and ghosts can can kill in Dwarf Fortress, which is not good. Right, we have some things going on. So, we're going to build a door. I need to zoom in, because I can't... I can see, but I'm sure you probably can't see very well. Oh, plan and move. We need plan and move. We don't actually own a door. I want to put a door in here. Right, and I want... I want to put a bridge in here. So we're going to build a bridge. Not a bed. Jeez, bridge. This is an atom smasher, and if you don't know what a dwarven atom smasher is, it's a drawbridge. When a drawbridge comes down, it just smashes everything underneath it. So we're basically going to build a room with a drawbridge in it. And we're going to place it there. We'll make it a chalk. We're not fussy what it looks like. Then we're going to build a trap. Lever. We'll put the lever right outside the door. That'll do well. 
so that is an Atom Smasher. Uh, yeah, right. So we'll just let that little miner carry that. Right, pause. I want him to designate smooth. We normally smooth walls for beautification, but we're now going to smooth this wall to our hospital. Because once we've smoothed it, we can put fortifications in it, and fortifications are arrow slits, so we're actually going to put arrow slits in the side of our hospital. <laughs> so you know what's coming next. Yeah. So we can lock him in the hospital, and if he turns into a wary guana, we can get some archers to shoot through the arrow slits. Which now leads us to military. So we now need to create a new squad, and we need to have an archer uniform. And um, the walls of youth, okay. That doesn't make any sense, but that'll do us. So who are we going to have? We can't have the recruit because he's in the other group. Um, I love a ranger, so I don't know what good they are. Uh, we'd cut a herbalist. Yeah, they're basically a plant gatherer. I can't believe we're going to probably lose. We're probably going to lose our bookkeeper. We'll have a glazier in there. Right, the walls of youth. So their uniform, they're going to carry two food, any drink, that's what the backpacks are for. Oops. Walls of youth. Right, leather armor, leather headwear. Now they're an archer. Now my brain is not working. E, equipment. Individual choice of ranged weapon. Individual choice of ranged weapon. Yeah, I want them to have melee, melee weapon. The coppers are parity. I didn't set that up correctly. Coppers are parity. Right. Can I change their uniform as a whole group? Coppers of parity. You assign uniforms. Leather armor. I want them to have leather armor. So if I go to equipment for the coppers of parity, let's get out of there. Sorry, I'm just having a stupidity attack. Yeah, individual melee choice, which is probably why they struggled with the iguana. They didn't use crossbows. This lot were going to have ranged weapons. Okay. Right. Yeah, so now we should have a crossbow squad. Let's get this going on. Miners are getting quite quick now, which is handy. Build door. We'll put the door in there. So we may want to put a wall in here to wall this off, because if they're in a berserk or rage, they can... um. I can open a door. We're going to build another door there. We're going to have a double door. I was going to give the hospital access to the well, but they can't have it. Not until we get this wary guanarism sorted out. Alright, we want to build... Um, where's our workshops? Q... We want to build a traction bench. I don't know if we've got enough components. We need chains. I don't know if I used them all up. I make a traction bench. Okay, he's going to make it. And we will need some soap for our hospital. Um, where are we? In here somewhere, aren't we? Let's get this set up to a hot key, shall we? Alright, shift and H. F5. 
zoom here. Oi, oi, zone. Set a zone here. We can make a H a hospital. So we can check the hospital by shifting H. We got no beds, no tables, no tracks and benches, no boxes or bags. We got nothing in there. No soap. We have not got a soap making industry. So we want to build bed. Needs a bed. Shift and P for plan. And I'm probably now giving them far too many jobs considering I want to murder people. Gonna have bed, 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 and they want a table to operate on. I think the tables are best placed next to the beds. Um, I want a traction bench, which I think is shift and R. We'll put plan and mode on so we actually get that. Put that there, and we need a chest. H, a container, a chalk coffer, we'll put that there for him to put stuff in. Right, let's get on a little bit. Is that man building my bridge, that dwarf? I think he might be. What's going on? Our, our other bridge has been deconstructed, right? So we now need to construct a bridge that works. Build G bridge placement. Placement? Right, this is hysterical. Right, so what we actually need to do here is we need to push S, uh, D, sorry, so it opens upwards. S or D would. Uh, sorry, A or D would do. To get it to open left or right doesn't really matter, just as long as it shots this corridor off. So we're going to go D. So now there's a little, it says it says bridge raises and an arrow. This is one thing I forgot to do last time, which was stupid of me. But anyway, we're rebuilding that bridge. We'll need to rehook it up to the lever again. So this is all going on. How is the Atom Smasher coming on? F5. Still being built. And how is the smoothing going on? Slowly. Right, we don't have hardly any idlers. Which means everyone's working hard. Hmm. I really need some stuff built. I'll probably give them too many jobs to do again, which is... This really is not a good time for giving people too many jobs to do. Because when it gets to full moon again, which I'm not sure when that is, I'm not... 100% sure how the Dwarven calendar works. We're going to have a possibly have a wear iguana on our hands. But I'm hopefully going to be able to show you how to deal with it. Hopefully. Right, so now we can designate F, capital F, which is carve fortifications. We can carve fortifications in this wall. So they're essentially arrow slots. So if anyone's in the hospital, turn it in for a wear iguana. We can shoot them. So burrows. Let's make a burrow while they're messing around. Um, burrows, burrows, burrows. W, make burrows. So we push enter, and then we, whoa, add new burrow, A, burrow one. So we want it to find the burrow, so we push enter, we bring our cross down. We're going to do a rectangle like we often do. There's our burrow, so end and name our burrow, we're going to call it hospital. So that burrow is now a hospital. I think we can leave that as it is. We can. We're going to add another burrow. Push enter. And that burrow is going to go in here. 
and we're going to name this burrow Atom Smasher. Right. Now we're going to go to military. We're going to create a new squad with no uniform. The creative fishers. Right. We're going to name this squad. And they're going to be called. I think I hit caps locks. I did. They're going to be called the damned. And they are going to be the damned. And there's only going to be one member in the damned. And that is going to be the bookkeeper. He's the only member. Right. So how are we getting on here? Things are happening. Right, these rooms that have got doors on we can designate them as bedrooms. So we go R, make a bedroom. Let's ask us to size the bedroom. It's already good si the right size. We push enter, F for free bed. Come across, R, enter, F. R, enter, F. R, enter, F. R, enter, F. Well, we can do it even without the doors in place because planning mode is on, that's handy. So, this dwarf, the bedrooms are free at the moment because we don't want to side them because that would take forever. But what's going to happen now is a dwarf will come along and once he's slept in a bedroom, he will climb it. And they're happier if they've got their own bedrooms, even if they're these tiny little matchsticks. Right, we will return to the game. I would rather like to see this big bridge built. They built the lever. They just haven't built the bridge. Or well, I'm convinced they haven't built it because they're still flashing. No, we're still construction suspended. Do not suspend the construction. I don't know why they suspended it. I wouldn't imagine that door would be in the way. Construction suspended. Why? Every time someone walks in the room, they suspend the construction. Construction suspended. I've never had this problem. Better go to another dwarf, gonna build some useless convention, and then it's worthless. Is that more? Is that migrants? I claim this workshop in the name of adventure. Oh right, we've got a fey mood. Zuglar Rallist has claimed a craft dwarf workshop. Excellent. Return to game. Right, where is he? Go for A. Up here. Z to locate. Where is he? Where is he? A. I want to find that unit. Zoom to location. What's his name? Zuglar, been taken by a fey mood. Units. We don't need all this crass dwarf. Right, Zed, go to unit. There he is. Right, we can follow him now. F for follow. Right, unpause. So he's getting some wood. He's going to a workshop. He's going to hopefully get everything he needs. He needs to get everything he needs to build whatever he wants to build. If he doesn't, he could go inside and start killing people. Then the wary Guana could change and it could all get horribly wrong. I think we're well into winter now. It looks horrible outside. That didn't sound good. Right, his start... That I don't know what the scream was. 
we need to look. But right, he's begun a mysterious instruction. Tun Katasmogas, where Iguana Minor has bled to death. What? Oh, the book cater has transformed into a wary guana. We didn't catch him in time. Alright. So the ranger has been found dead. Tun, who is our bookkeeper, has bled to death. There must have been a fight. Why don't I get a... Oh, no. Right. The wary Guana releases its grip on the left leg. <laughs> oh, who's been fighting now? The miner, Doosum, Lon. No, Lon Coppish Hushush, he was the original wary Guana, weren't he? The Ranger. The bookkeeper releases the grip of the bookkeeper's left arm on the military captain's second toe his left foot oh my god the brown recluse the bookkeeper scratches the malicious commander that means the militia commander is now probably a wary guana all oh, right we, we need to wait for him to go to the hospital we're just going to carry on with this fort as normal <laughs> because to be fair I've, I've already shown you enough to to maintain a fort and get you going and at least see you through the first year or so. I mean, we're now done a year. Most people don't survive the first year in, in their first fort, so I can't work out why this isn't being constructed. I wonder if this door is causing a problem. Let's remove the door. The door's been removed. Let's wait for architecture. Right, he just ran in and ran out again. I've got a horrible feeling that's been... No. Construction inactive. That was the architect went in. We're now waiting for a mason. So he, we could be too late anyway. I weren't paying attention. I didn't realise that he'd turned into a wary guana again. Right, so he's now building that atom smasher, but we, we're too late. We could have put um, Tut Lawn in there and smashed him with the drawbridge right he's built a persimmon wood earring from being in his strange moods if we go shift and L that'll tell us it's only worth 7,000 dwarf bucks so it's not brilliant so um, view the description this is a persimmon wood earring all craft dwarf ship is of the highest quality the object menaces with spikes of persimmon wood on the item is an image of round cabochons in persimmon wood. On the item is an image of Bem Bemble Tomb Tower, the dwarf in persimmon wood. It's got a picture of a dwarf on it. On the item is an image of Bosa Hell Focus as the human and Escher Blows, the giant mosquito in Moss Agate. Echo Blows is striking down Bossa Hell Focuses. The artwork relates to the killing of the human boss. Hell focuses by the giant mosquito Etchy Blows in the Hill of Portents in 109. And if you looked into Legends, you could probably find that fight. So chuck it in the heap, get back on with it. Right, so we've built our drawbridge. This one, anyway. So that's finished. So where was the lever for that? Up here, wasn't it? Do, 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 do. Lever A B link to bridge. Yes, yes, yes. So that bridge is now going to get linked. That is actually going to lift. I, I'm sure I did ask it to lift in the right direction this time. But we're building this bridge. But I don't know who's a wary guana anymore. The recruit could be, the mason could be, the leather worker could be, the marks dwarf, the swords dwarf, the spear dwarf. See, Lun must have kicked off. This is all hunting. This is a wary guana fight. 
Right, Mestathos. He could be one. Doosum. I thought Doosum died in a fight. Yeah, Doosum's dead. The Ranger. Deckel. He's been found dead. The Miner. That is the Bookkeeper Miner, isn't it? Tuncatan. Has he been found dead? Tuncatan has bled to death. That's quite handy. That's the bookkeeper. Right, we may... We may... Everyone may be dead. All the Wariguanas, or the possible Wariguanas, may be dead. In which case, happy days. Right, okay, let's assume that everything's wonderful, which it probably isn't. Um, I think if I switch stone sense, I switched it down to two input messages, just important messages, because of the stupid prickleberry seed fiasco. Oh, we've got weather turned off. Turn that back on. Right, so this is now finished, so we want to hook this lever up. I link to a bridge, link up to the Atom Smasher. Right, happy days. Now build a door there. So basically we we would have told what we would have done is we would have gone to military and we'd have gone to the damned but they're now dead and we'd have, well we wouldn't have gone military we'd have gone squads C damned and give them the M move which is or move, and then we'd have told them to stand in this room after we'd raised the bridge. We'll raise the bridge in a little while. He's now connected that lever, I'm pretty sure he has. Yeah, he's done it. So if we go A, Shift and P, which is pull the lever, and put N for now, and watch. We're not really into watching normally, but we'll watch. See, the drawbridge has now gone up. No, it hasn't, because we didn't tell it which way to go, so it's just bloody retracted, hasn't it? I'm an idiot. This is the second time I've done this. Remove the door. Oh, I'm so angry with that. I've done it with the other bridge, and this bridge took ages to build, so it... Uh, I'm so angry. <sighs> I'm not angry, really. I'm not angry, it's only a game. Right, pull the lever. Boom. See, that's a retraction bridge, it disappears. We want the bridge will show there'll still be this edge here if it's, if it's lifted up. And they're going to remove this, believe it or not. You do believe it. You know who I am. Slated for removal. Right. You learn by my mistakes. So let's have a look. At get off F4, F5. I thought I set up a hotkey for F5. No, that's help. That's the button next to the button. Right. What's going on here? They're making charcoal. You must have made enough. We're going to make some ash. Put that on repeat. We're setting up ash. We're basically setting up soap industry now for our hospital because wounds. This is the only time dwarfs need water is when they're ill in hospital. They don't drink alcohol in hospital. I think that's the only time they don't. So we're going to build workshop. We want an ashery, which is why this is to turn ash into lye. It's very convoluted making soap. We need a soap maker's workshop. Right. Soap maker. Ashery. I 
think that'll do for now. We need to set up a small stockpile. We want fat, and if fat is stored in a barrel, we can't use it for making um, stuff. You need to make soap out of tallow. So it's going to be food. We're going to put it right near where we put our soap makers workshop. That'll do. Escape Q. Change settings. Right, we want no barrels. So Shift and E. S. That's the whole point of this was to have no barrels. So you've got to remember to to tick that. And we're going to permit fat. Right. So let's start. Q, let's start some smelting. So I'm assuming we've got charcoal now since they're suspended that we have. Right, you can melt metal objects, which like if you kill goblins, we will have goblins attack us. If you kill goblins, you can melt down their armor and stuff. Or I'm using plus and minus to go up and down here. So hematite or repeat, you know the drill. Alter and W, shift and A, bars of iron, 10, please. Limonite, we're going to do it, and that's going to make the same ore, but we need to have it listed. So that's up to 10, so that's just going to join in. Gold is pretty useless apart from making money. Silver's brilliant for war hammers because it's heavy. So we'll make some silver. I would like to have lots of smelters, but we'll do that when we find lava and have infinite infinite um, fuel right so we're gonna get silver out of Galena that's 10 I'm pretty sure that's something like 10 platinum is okay it's only tetrahedrite or I think it's silver and copper I'm not assigning everything silver actually we probably could choose whether we have silver or copper yeah let's have Hello folks, this is a cut in the video. I'm now back with some very sad news. I've finished recording this episode and we've got about 45 minutes. Now I've been recording for an hour and a half so we are lost 45 minutes recording which has pissed me off quite a bit because I wouldn't care apart from this is a tutorial and I've made these are coffins we built some alcoves, coffins, resting places, because um, otherwise they'll haunt the fort and ghosts can kill. Um, we built fortifications in the hospital, which are arrow slits. There's like loads of massacre in here. Loads of people got wearing guanarism. <laughs> They're all dead. We built an atom smasher. And I think I'll show you how to use that. I mean, I'm going to show you again, just in case I didn't. But as militia, we got the damned. We put... We put them in there, we put whoever we think is the Wariguana in the group, the dam. So then you go to squads, C to select the dam, M to move. You tell them to go in the Atom Smasher, so they're now stationed there. And then you put an order in for someone to pull the lever. And then the bridge comes down and they smash them. And they're dead. And also, I'll explain now, you can create a zone as you can see I've done it already because I've done all this you create a zone and you put D garbage dump and then you can go D for designate and then B for set buildings and items properties and then D for dump and as you can see I've highlighted these rocks and then they'll get taken into the Atom Smasher and anything else you designate for dumping. And then when you pull the lever, that all completely disappears when it gets smashed, which is why they call it an Atom Smasher. Now the whole reason behind that is this game will slow down pieces, older PCs. So what you can do is you can get all the items you don't want, put them in the dump. A dump is called a quantum stockpile because even one square of quantum stockpile will hold an unlimited amount of items. And then when they get smashed, they disappear. Then your game speed up. And um, I don't know what else we've done, really. We got this bridge hooked up correctly, so it lifts that way. We didn't get to see the traps in use. Yeah, I'm a bit annoyed. I don't know why I lost a recording. I lost a recording. 
It all went away. I'm quite sad about that. But I've shown you enough on this fort. A lot more than I ever learned. It took me months to self-taught to learn to do everything I've shown you in the last four or five hours. So we could keep this fort going because we now only have... I'll show you. I keep forgetting you haven't seen it. We now only have ten citizens and one of them's a child. <laughs> every, every We have more livestock than we have people. We have more amphibian women and men in the water than we have people. And we have more dead and missing people than we have live people. Which is not a problem. We could wait for another influx, influx of migrants. We might do that. Or we might start a new fort. So um, this is the second time I've signed off this episode. I'm sorry we had the mess up technical difficulty. Because all sorts of things happened. And there was much hilarity with where Iguanaism kicking off repeatedly. We had loads of it. Loads of people getting massacred. If you care about any of this, you can um, pause it and read it. But every time someone gets bitten or scratched, I'm sure you have worked out what happens. Yeah, loads of them. I kept putting them in the damned and I kept sending them to the Atom Smasher, but they were too busy in the hospital trying to cure, get cured. And then they would turn into a were or in the hospital. And then everyone would go in and try and kill them. And then everyone else would get scratched and bitten and so on and so forth. And... That is how Dwarf Fortress works. Anyway, see you next time. Bye-bye.